So it's been a while. Um, today I want to talk to you about uh, the nuclear options that we have in the Netherlands. Now, the discussion about nuclear is really positive. Um, the largest political parties in the Netherlands are uh, openly pro-nuclear. Uh, a large majority of the Dutch people are pro-nuclear. And at this moment it is... Um, you know, we are uh, we have gotten into a situation where we actually might get uh, where we actually might start considering building new nuclear power plants. So, in order to you know to facilitate uh, some of this, uh, in order to make progress within this movement, um, I've started a, a foundation called Elisa, and uh, Lisa Meitner is its namesake. Uh, you can visit our website. It's uh, www.a-lisa.nl. And uh, there we try to explain to you, uh, you know, what we are trying to do to, uh, to promote nuclear energy in the Netherlands. Now, what you see here in the page is the Flissingen Harbor, and the Flissingen Harbor is the uh, only place in the Netherlands where we have a nuclear power reactor. So if I scroll down, you can see the Bosselen nuclear power plant right here. Now, if I take my ruler here, this is pretty interesting. Then you can see that it's like it's only 200 meters long and it's another 400 meters wide, basically, this area. Just, uh, you know. These buildings are also a part of the nuclear power plant. But in essence, it's, it's tiny. And the reason why it's tiny is because it's just 550 megawatts. You could basically consider it a slightly oversized small modular reactor. Now, as you can see here, we have a very big switchyard. Uh, this switchyard is not just for the nuclear power plant. It's also for uh, this power plant over here. Um, let's see if you can see it but there's a gas plant over here and there's loads and loads of windmills and there's also a connection to uh, the wind parks that are offshore let me show you so what you see here is this is the same uh, the same map but it's slightly slower because you know it contains a lot of information about all these nodes these uh, these these electricity pathways uh, what you see here is a large switchyard, and attached to this switchyard is not just the nuclear power plant and the gas fire power plant, but also this uh, offshore wind park. So this is pretty interesting for us um, to look at. So what, what are we planning to do? Uh, we are planning to create a map where we show the best locations in the Netherlands. Uh, to build new nuclear power plants. So this here is a coal-fired power plant. This one is being decommissioned as we speak. It will take another, I don't know, maybe a year or maybe two years before this thing will be torn down completely. Now, as you can see by the footprint, uh, this place is likely large enough to facilitate another 500, maybe two 500 megawatt units. There's also still some, some space left over here, maybe with some rearranging, um, you can add more. But you could potentially also hop over the way. And uh, I, I would say that this here, this what you see here, used to be um, the place where they stored the coal. So there would be a conveyor belt here. This conveyor belt would feed, you know, across the road, the coal fired power plant. Now, if we look at the dimensions of this this spot alone, then you can see it's already 280 meters wide, which is wider than this piece over here. This was 200 meters wide, so this is 280 meters wide. And if we take it, you know, this way, then you can see it's another 700 meters long. So you could input, you could potentially place two or maybe three SMR units there up to 500, 500 megawatts, probably. Maybe even bigger, 
but it depends on the design, it depends on how you lay it all out, etc. Now, the interesting thing is that we have a couple of these locations in the Netherlands. One is just across the, 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 the water. Now, this is, this is less, uh, th this place isn't as good as the other one. Um, the, as you can see here, you would be really uh, squeezed in between all these, uh, all these, uh, you know, uh, companies. But this, uh, this little gas plant here is again, 250 meters by 300 meters. So in, so potentially you could place one SMR here. Now there's, there's one very cool, um, location in the Netherlands that I want to share with you. So uh, you can still see probably the, you know, if I mouse over it, you can see that there's a little, little spot there. Here we have Rotterdam. This is uh, this is one of the largest coal terminals in Western Europe right here. Uh, this here is the spot where we have, um, th so this coal plant over here has been decommissioned. It no longer produces electricity. It has been disconnected from the grid. And then we have this uh, this uh, big unit here, which is, I don't know exactly. I mean, uh, I believe it's 1600 megawatts. It's a large one. So if you look at the, the, you know, the space that we got here, right? Let's see. For some reason, it doesn't work. So let's see. Let's do it another time. So if you look at this, this is like 500 meters, 500 meters by, you know, uh, another 800 meters or so. So you could place, you know, probably somewhere around the order of four or five, maybe even six SMRs just in this location alone. It's a very big location, but that's nothing. You have seen nothing yet. So the beauty about this 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 location is that it's a, it already has a permit to produce energy. We have um, you know an environmental impact assessment has been done on this location and it is for coal. Now if you do an environmental impact assessment for nuclear, that's probably going to be better than coal. I don't know for sure, I don't know for certain. Maybe there are some aspects that I'm leaving out here. But you know, this is a pretty good location for a new nuclear power plant in the Netherlands. This over here is, by the way, is a very interesting box. This is the place where we connect to the UK using uh, using a high voltage, uh, high voltage DC line. Now, there's another interesting spot in uh, Rotterdam, in the Rotterdam Harbor, uh, that might be suitable to build SMRs, to build, you know, hydrogen production plant or something of that nature. And that's this uh, coal terminal right here. Now, this is not entirely coal. There's also some iron ore over here. You can see it. It's it, You can ma mainly make out where iron ore is just by the color. But most of it is, is coal. So what I would propose would be to, you know, sacrifice all the coal bed just just figure out how much of the the stuff that is being stored here is not coal reserve that bit you know for instance move it over here or move it over here uh here's another here's another coal fire power plant as you can see it's uh, being run by ng but if you for instance if you take this bit here i mean this is 1.8 kilometers 1.8 kilometers by, um, you know, uh, 800 meters. Uh, a, a typical SMR takes uh, takes up between 100 and 200 meters by 100 and 200 meters. Total plant layout. So you could probably put, you know, a, a dozen of SMRs just on this just on this plot alone. The only problem that you would have is that you would need to reroute uh, electricity lines. Obviously, there's already a high voltage DC over here. Otherwise, you wouldn't have uh, a power plant. Now, let's see how this is all being routed. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a look here. And now you see 
that the high voltage DC line runs out towards the north and then goes along the <clears throat> the coal terminal and moves into this here. So so something has to be done because you need to have more capacity here. But it's probably cheaper to do it over here because you wouldn't have to do as much uh, grid work to get it attached. And a final position that I wanted to share with you um, is this one. It's the Ameshaven. So there's more. There's more places. For instance, here is Moordijk. Here we have the Amelcentrale. So this is a this is a coal-fired biomass and coal uh, power plant, um, and then we have some options over here at Amsterdam, for instance, over here. This is Demon. Uh, this is the Hamweg. This is in the middle of the city. It's provocative. I am going to put a nuclear power plant there, a digital nuclear power plant. I'm going to make a map where I put digital assets in and show people what it's going to look like. It's provocative to put a nuclear power plant in here. Uh, I want to know what the response is to, to that. And then we have here Tata Steel. So this is a, a large steel plant. There's already two power plants over here. As you can see, these are both uh, coal-fired. Um, is that true? No, these are both gas-fired. I'm sorry. And then over here, I've got this, this, this area over here. Um, which I have reserved for high temperature reactors that could be used for steel production. But the most the most important bit is not this one. This one is a is a tiny one, but it has very good grid, grid connections. As you can see here, it has a very large a dual switch chart layout. Um, uh, both high voltage DC, but it's two different networks. So that's awesome. Uh, but the real winner is up here in the what is a uh, up all the way up north no no it's all of the area that is yellow here has been reserved for power generation this here is an old gas plant still operational this here is a coal is a coal fired coal and biomass plant right here and this is a gas plant so what we are going to do is we are going to draw this map in such a way that we populate this area with SMRs, maybe a couple of large units, and then see what people's response will be to this concept. Beauty is, there's already six gigawatts, uh, you know, on this site existing. This is also one of those sites that has um, that has attachments to offshore grids. This is also a site where there is a, an attachment going to Denmark and Norway. So, the, the, I mean, if you look at the high voltage situation of, uh, of the Ameshaven, it's incredible. So, there you go. I mean, look at it. Everything is there that you would need to build new nuclear, nuclear reactors. I would start off here uh, on the eastern side you know, uh, throw down those uh, gas plants. As you can see here, this is not yet uh, realized on the map, but there's a solar a so a solar farm or over here. So maybe maybe that's something that is not going to be uh, be uh, you know available to us. The same is here. There's already a solar farm planned here. So we have to move fast because because solar farms are, are already being planned in these regions and we don't want too much solar there. Uh, but there's plenty of space left for SMRs, for large units if we want to. And as you can see here, so this is interesting. What you see here is the pylons. I'm sorry for the white line. Um, sometimes my browser doesn't. So here you have these red dots. These red dots are the pylons that are being built for the grid extensions. So this place here, this harbor, is is getting more and more grid uh, capacity added to it in order to uh, create... Um, in essence, the biggest power plant of the Netherlands. So that's what we are working on uh, from our, uh, you know, in our foundation. We are working on a plan to basically populate these spaces. 
show what is uh, what it is going to look like because people are visual you know we use our visual acuity uh, and our imagination uh, to, to see what things look like and, and and at this moment people cannot imagine what it would look like if we would do a couple of nuclear power plants in the Netherlands I believe that there's about 15 gigawatts of capacity you know that we could build just based on the uh, on the high voltage network so looking at existing high voltage uh, network connections like you see here right so you see the switch yard and you you literally see the connection from the power plant to the switch yard which is absolutely amazing i mean this is this is a map i don't know who made it but it's an amazing map i use it every day um and this basically tells us that you know we can we can take away this entire coal plant if we want to put up you know uh, let's see um uh, let's get the other map here so what we could do potentially is uh, we could say all right so here we have these attachments you can see it right it's these rows around here these rows around here so what we would do is we would build a new turbine hall here right and this turbine hall would be like 100 meters and then you would get you know the reactor speed let, let, let's just make it a square let's let's make it a square so this is a hundred uh okay let's see 200 by uh, there we go uh yep 200 and then well it's not going to be straight anymore but that, that's okay it should be i don't know somewhere around there and then we go there so what you get what you would get is th this would be one smr but it wouldn't be an entire it, it wouldn't be covered with an, with, with smr entirely so that the nuclear power plant would, would reach you know like this space would be the nuclear power plant and then you could get perhaps some cooling tower arrangement over here maybe you spent nuclear fuel building and there would be easily you could easily house two nuclear power plants just in this location alone and if you would do some extra grid work you know make make some extra attachment here you could easily do like i don't know a quad maybe eight pieces there's enough space space is not a problem uh grid is not a problem so we are in a very fortunate position in the netherlands right now we are working on this and um, i hope to get i hope to come back uh, to you with better news soon uh, thank you all for watching it's been a long time sorry uh and have a nice day bye bye